Hello, welcome to Jeannie's Art Adventures. Today I'm going to do a hammer or a mallet painting. I've wrapped my mallet in some, well, in a paper bag. I've never done this before, so it'll be fun. See how it turns out. I've pre mixed some paints here at the side, um, just taking the little sticks out because I know from past experience I'll knock them over. And my canvas is here set up see my spirit level I have lost so many paintings because I didn't check the level so I'm a bit anal about that I do that first and I really should have watched a YouTube video just before I started this because I can't quite remember how we do it so I'm just gonna this is just pre-mixed white I'm just gonna pour some on um, and what I'm, I'm gonna do is just drop some colors in see what results um, can't quite like I say I should have checked can't remember now how to do it but we'll see how it comes out it's all good fun um, if I really don't like it it's fine I can just swipe it you can do all sorts right so I'm just going to tip this white over so it's all covered or more or less I was just getting a little cup if you wonder what I was doing there to try and catch as you can see it's an old canvas one I didn't like um, it happens Oops. I just want it roughly covered. I did clean this off, but you can see the top corner. There must have been there was quite a lot of silicon on this, so it's obviously still determined to stick, but that's fine. I'll just pour some more um paint over. I might have been a little over ambitious there, but we'll see. Give it another go. can't find the opening to my white now I'll put some more paint on ah there it is right that is really determined not to stay on there isn't it come on can't be beaten by a bit of paint listen I'm in charge paint pay attention here right let's just see how we go from there I can always fill in those edge bits later so it's not a big problem go right that's the thing covered say so, not done it before so we'll see how it comes out I wish I could remember hmm, I think I'll just drop some little bits of color in at random see how they go um, a little bit of gold because I do love some gold this is a lovely rich metallic blue Um, a yellow, yellow over there and maybe there, a bit of green. Lovely dioxazin purple, which makes really nice colours. Um, and then this lovely turquoisey greeny, a bit more in that one, there. Um, I might put a little bit more white I'm just gonna I don't want too much so I'll just tip it into that little a cup I'll just put a few little bits of white in I've got a wasp in here I can hear it buzzing round with me right okay and then whack with the mallet I guess Let's see, flat side, that side. Here we go. Hmm, not quite as I expected, but got some lovely bits on the mallet. I think I'll just splat it all over. Let's see how that goes. Okay, wasn't a great success, was it? Let's give it a little tilt. Plan B, I'm going to just pour a little colour down and swipe. 
you can swipe with white you can swipe with colors um i've got quite a lot of purple here i think i'll swipe with purple this side and you don't have to put it on both sides but i like to right acetate sheet should be just under here so i said there's never a mistake in painting you learn as you go along now i'm going to push the purple over a bit push it down whoops right that's quite nice isn't it i'm going to torch it a little bit now with my torch will play yesterday it wouldn't today it won't right Got my little one here come on That's better. I always have my fire extinguisher down to hand when I've got the torch on because it's really easy to set fire to this silicon paper. I've done it far too many times. And just having the fire extinguisher beside you is a good safety measure. And yep, yeah, see, here's mine here, quick to hand. It's just a straight little aerosol one, um, a tenner off Amazon, and it is really well. I think every artist should have them. When you think of what we've got that's flammable around here, paint, all sorts of different things. So um, varnishes, oils, you know, safety's precious, isn't it? It's my dog deciding with somebody there. I'm just scraping these little bits off my paper onto the edge there. Um, and well the mallet painting was a fail but I like that so yeah I like these little bits here I wish I knew how I could get them Let's see if I lift that up and show you can you see that it's these these bits there little lines of cells if you think about cells you can tip them and stretch them change completely see how they elong elong I'll say elongate as you stretch I'm fiddling with this now just for fun I'm going to tilt it back I don't really like this little bottom corner here so I'm going to say if I can get that back oh I've lost my little row of ah come back And the thing is you can keep on you can add more color carry on swiping until you're happy with what you've got and sometimes you think i should have stopped ages ago but it's your painting do what you want i've probably got too much paint on here so i'm going to scrape this off in a minute having said i like that i'm now changing my mind I've got some nice swirls now instead of cells but I might torch it again and see if I can bring any cells back see if the torch is going to play ball with me come on torch I've got to light it with my little tiny butane one there we go yeah there's a few popping out Sometimes as the paint dries, you'd be amazed at how differently it changes. I love it when you get these kind of marbled, soft effects. They look like the inside of seashells. So yeah, I'll pop this one up on my blog in a couple of days when it's dry, so you can see how it dries out. Um, and I'll do something with that leftover paint in a minute. And I've still got lots of leftover colour in the pots. And all I do, if I don't want to use them today, is I just take a little empty cup I, mean, I use these little shot glasses because they're handy and literally I'll just pop one over the top like that where are we there you go like that um, leave it in the studio here and it'll keep like that for several days it's fine quick stir when you're ready to paint again and there you go it's ready so thank you very much for watching um, blogs called Jeannie's Art Adventures 
Um, if you've got any queries, just either message me there or pop a in the comments and I'll get back to you. If you've got any ideas you'd like me to try out on there, tuck that in the comments too. If I've got the paint and the stuff, I'll do it. I haven't got GAC 800. I would love to try that stuff, but I cannot get it. So other than that, I've got Floetrol. I've got a little bit of Liquitex pouring medium. I've got different silicones and coconut oils and all sorts of things. So if you're interested or you've got any particular paint combos you think you'd like me to try, just let me know and I'll play. Bye. Thanks for watching.